Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video And today guys what I want to show you guys is the brand new ultimate team items that are in the game We have James Harrison at left outside linebacker Steve Atwater at free safety now, of course Tons of people are excited about this Steve Atwater item. Um, he was one of the best free safeties early in Madden this year, and he is still an absolute beast. So, yes, uh, Steve Atwater is definitely going to be one of the best items in this game, in my opinion. Especially this boss item. It looks ridiculous. But even the regular uh, ultimate team item of Steve, Steve Atwater is really, really good. I want to show you guys just a little bit of a comparison to what I'm currently running at free safety, which is actually a 98 overall Eric Weddle. Uh, but the comparisons, it's really hard to say that Steve Atwater isn't worth the upgrade. I mean, I might have to make this upgrade for various different reasons. Number one, I want you to take a look at that height. Six foot three, very, very difficult to find a guy that's that big at free safety. Now, obviously, there are players like Taylor Mays that are bigger or free safety Calvin Johnson that are bigger. But um, it, it's very, very difficult to find a guy that's got these type of attributes as well as the uh, the height. So, I mean, take a, take a look at some of these attributes here. There's really not a whole lot where Eric Weddle is going to be higher than Steve Atwater. I mean, you, you look at things like man coverage, zone coverage, it's, it's not very close. The tackling, obviously, is much better. The hit power is also ridiculous for the Steve Atwater item. Even the base Ultimate Legend item, 101 hit power. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, he's going to force some serious incompletions. Um, I, what I actually want to compare this to, but it won't let me show it directly unless I purchase the item, which I'm considering doing, like I said, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet. Um, but if you compare this item to the player that I'm running at strong safety, which is uh, Ronnie Lott, the ultimate team Ronnie Lott, he still compares very favorably to Ronnie Lott as well. Ronnie Lott's maybe a little bit better in one support, I would say. But other than that, uh, Steve Atwater's got just some crazy, crazy attributes. I think uh, he's probably the... You could make a case he's the best free safety in this game. But I would still say free safety Calvin Johnson, the uh, the golden ticket one, because of all kinds of different reasons, but mostly because of the six foot five uh, with the speed and the catching. So uh, other than that, though, I think Steve Atwater, I, I believe personally, is better than uh, Ed Reed. And I obviously think he's better than like an Eric Weddle. And, um, you know, there are other players that, um, you know, at safety that you could compare him to. But I still think Steve Atwater is going to hold up very, very well against those guys. Um, you know, when you go down here and look at some of these other items uh, that he has, uh, let's see here. There was one that I wanted to show specifically. Um, yeah, his spectacular catch. If you compare that to Eric Weddle, it's 30 higher. I think that's pretty substantial as well as the fact that he has 73 catch in traffic. Those types of things are going to be nice to have because a lot of the interceptions that you try to go for with your safety, especially when people try to face catch on you, are going to have something to do with spectacular catch or catch in traffic. So it's nice to have a boosted attribute in those areas as well, uh, in addition to the fact that he has decent just pure catching as well. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, where is that? There it is. 82 catching. So it's funny because Eric Weddle has higher pure catching, but he's not going to have as good of catching, in my personal opinion, as often. Because a lot of, like I said, a lot of the interceptions that you're going to have with your free safety are going to be contested. So you're going to need those spectacular catches. You're going to need that catch in traffic. So, uh, yeah, Steve Atwater with the 82 catching, in addition to those other attributes, is a very, very nice item as well. Um, and uh, we'll go in here and take a look here at the boss item as well because I want to show you guys that real quickly. I'm not going to run through all of the attributes on it, but it's definitely a really, really good item. Um, I, I I can't say, of course, that it's going to be worth the cost because the, the cost upgrade for this item is just ridiculous in my opinion. I almost never recommend running a boss item unless you've got like like a bazillion coins, basically. Unless you're rocking a team that's worth like 30 million or more coins, the boss items just are, they're not worth the price, in my personal opinion. But anyway, uh, just taking a look at the, the Ultimate Legend uh, 24 hour Steve Outwater. He's basically better than Eric Weddle in every single attribute. Even when you go down here and look at some of these other things, like he's got 100 acceleration. That's just so ridiculous. It really is. And then his catching is boosted up a little bit. Uh, I think the, the previous one, the standard Ultimate Legend, had 82 for catching. But he's now got an 85, so he's a little bit closer to Eric Weddle in that attribute. But then you go down here and look at those uh, catch and traffic attributes again. And um, you're going to see, yeah, this, the 86 spectacular catch and the 74 catch in traffic. So 
just crazy, along with what you really pay for on this card, the 104 hit power. <laughs> that is just absolutely crazy. So, again, Steve Atwater, an absolute beast. I also want to show you guys the James Harrison because uh, I know a lot of people want to see this card. Now, my personal opinion, I'm not really looking for another 3-4 outside linebacker, so I'm a little bit disappointed that this is an item that we're getting. As you can see, the price is already actually fairly affordable for this card. I'm going to go in here and show you guys. Um, you know, DeMarcus Ware dropped to around 100,000 coins now. That is really, really cheap. But uh, James Harrison, even 270k, you can buy him now for on the PlayStation 4 at this very moment, which is uh, middle of the day today on Saturday. So I just want to compare him, like I said, to my Demarcus Ware for you guys, because again, I feel like he's just basically an upgraded version of Demarcus Ware, which don't get me wrong, is a fine thing to do. Um, but you know, it's it's a little bit disappointing that we're not getting a player that's um, you know kind of different in some ways than DeMarcus Ware. He's pretty much just like one or two attributes higher in most of these categories, maybe other than acceleration. But, uh, you know, e even if you could, don't think that he's as good because he's got a little bit lower acceleration, his pure speed is too higher. So they're going to play roughly the same speed anyway. Um, and, and then go in here and look at some of these other attributes as well. I kind of thought it was interesting that James Harrison's catching is a little bit higher than DeMarcus Ware's because that's one thing that I really dislike about Ware. His catching is just so low. And you don't expect that out of a 3-4 outside linebacker whose base you know, reason that you have him on the field is for pass rushing. But you know, the fact that James Harrison's got a boosted attribute there at 77, that is definitely nice to see. Uh, tackling, he's also substantially higher with six higher for tackling. But... Um, yeah, I mean, if you like DeMarcus Ware and you can afford it, definitely upgrade to this James Harrison because there really aren't attributes where he's substantially worse. He's a little bit lower in finesse move, but his power move is quite a bit higher. And the fact that he has a little bit higher block shedding, all of those different types of things are going to go into the fact that James Harrison, like I said, is basically just an upgraded version of DeMarcus Ware. So I, again, I really do like the James Harrison item uh, as far as his attributes go. If I can find a way to afford him I probably will make that upgrade at some point just like because like I said he's just a better version of where but um the boss item at about a million coins right now that is pretty low price for a um uh, a boss card uh for first day anyway at, for it being a million coins that's a pretty good price um but look at these attributes here. The upgrades are pretty substantial here, in my opinion. He's got, again, higher acceleration now uh, with higher speed as well, 94 speed and 104 or 100 acceleration. So really, really nice attributes as far as those things go. His catching moves up to a 78, which is even better. Tackling remains uh, really, really high at a 100. I, I personally don't feel like, again, that these are worth their price, but it's nice to see that you can actually get a boss item on day one for around a million coins. I think that that's going to be a pretty good buy overall in the next coming weeks. If you're looking for, you know, an elite player at this position, I feel like James Harrison boss edition is probably going to be a nice one for you. But my personal opinion would be if you're still running a 4-6 defense, if you're running a 4-3 defense, this is the guy that you want at left outside linebacker. Derek Brooks has just the attributes that are much better for that type of a defense. So um, uh, that's what I would look at. The pass uh, coverage attributes that Brooks has just aren't comparable really to any other player at outside linebacker that I can think of. So yeah, very, very good attributes overall for, for both of these items. I also want to go in here and open up a few packs for you guys, see if we can pull a boss edition of one of these cards. I don't know if you guys are aware, but right now, if you actually go in here and if you do want to continue to put money into this game, which I don't blame you for because you're getting good stuff here in this legend pack bundle, I'm not going to do it. But uh, if you are interested, you do actually get seven legend packs as well as a bundle topper that contains three ultimate legend items that are go into specifically the James Harrison or the Steve Atwater collections. So that's pretty nice. That's also why you're going to see those those items. The uh, the regular editions of those items are a little bit cheaper than a lot of times that they are when they first come out. Um, a lot of the Ultimate Team items the first day are really, really, really expensive, and then they drop over time. But this one, uh, the bundle topper is going to make it so that James Harrison especially, and even Steve Atwater, is a little bit more affordable even on day one uh, because of those items that you get in the, the uh, bundle. 
anyway let's go in here and take a look and see if we can pull anything out of some pro packs i'm not going to spend fifty thousand coins on any legend packs they're just to me they're just not worth it uh, as we get a DJ Fluker. So nothing really out of this first pack, unfortunately. Oh, maybe open up, I don't know, 10 packs or so. I just want to see if I can pull anything. I did obviously get that Barry Sanders a few weeks ago. So I'm feeling like maybe there's some luck going my way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Haven't pulled anything really since. But you never really know unless you open up the pack. So we'll try and do that today. Um, see if we can get anything. I always keep my golds just because I, I don't know if they're ever rare or not. Most of the time I know that they're not and I end up quick selling them anyway. But I don't want to sit and debate over, you know, is that a rare card or is it not? I, I just don't want to be involved in that game while I'm doing a, a video for you guys. Uh, so nothing out of pack number three either. Alfonso Denard is our best item out of this pack. Moving on to pack number four. And I want to know, are you guys pulling anything decent out of these packs today? Are you getting anything out of the Legend packs? That's, I think, the big thing. I, I think a lot of people are uh, trying to pull those Legend packs. That's the interesting one. If, you, if you're pulling anything decent out of those Legend packs, let me know. Obviously, of course, let me know if you're pulling anything out of the Pro packs either. I know a lot of people are still uh, trying to run and, and uh, get a 99 overall team, and I do not blame you at all. It's still nice to, to have one of those big, high overall teams even when uh, this game is kind of coming to an end. I still think it's fun to have a, a great ultimate team. So that's why I've been keeping my team. But we're still going to run some big pink slips for you guys here in the coming weeks. So I hope you guys are going to stop back to the channel and continue to watch my stuff as we do these these, uh, these larger pink slip wagers. Oh, that thing turned blue and I was really excited. But nothing really there. The Irvin collectible I don't think goes for much at all. Um, and then we get Donald Stevenson. So that's a little bit disappointing. I will, uh, I'll keep the Irvin collectible just because I don't think it goes for anything. My guess is that it's going for like a thousand coins or so. Yeah, and it, it quick sells for 50. So I'll, I'll look it up and see if, uh, see if it's worth anything. I'm a grinder, man. I will go in and I'll actually sell that card if it's worth a thousand coins. You know, why not? You might as well. Uh, especially when you're trying to, uh, to save as many coins as I am. Like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get better wagers for you guys for pink slips. So the more that I can grind, the more that I can pick up 950 coins at a pop. Hey, that's worth it to me. Cecil Shorts is our gold in this pack. So we haven't really pulled anything of any value at all today so far. But we still got like three more packs or so. So we'll try and uh, we'll try and get something. Morse Claiborne, damn. Morse Claiborne, by the way, I, I don't know how to feel about him going into this season. It's nice that the Cowboys went out there and picked up a corner in the draft. Um, but, you know, Morris Claiborne, who's somebody that the Cowboys drafted a few years ago. By the way, guys, if you don't know, I am a Cowboys fan. That's why I'm talking about this. But um, he's somebody who absolutely has to step up. There's no question about it. He definitely has to be the guy that moves up and uh, makes major improvements if he wants to stay on the Cowboys roster going forward. Uh, otherwise, I don't see how they can afford to keep him. He just hasn't been any good whatsoever, and it's really, really disappointing. So, god dang, man, we're pulling just nothing out of these packs at all. Hopefully, you guys are getting better pulls than I am. Um, also, guys, I don't know if you, you're aware, I always keep my 71 or above silvers because sometimes those are rare as well but i don't think eric hag is i could be wrong uh, let me go look here and see if he goes into any good sets so he goes into the silver safety set and eh, probably not worth much maybe a couple thousand coins but yeah man nothing really out of these packs we'll pull one more final pro pack see if we get anything wish me luck here guys otherwise we're gonna wrap up today's video we'll go through this real quick and we got nothing damn it just 70,000 coins down the drain. Yeah, still pulling packs in this game, man. And this is this is why people don't pull packs. I pulled no, even base elites out of this whole thing. So that's really, really disappointing. But I hope you guys are pulling better cards than I am in today's pack openings. Um, if you are, like I said, leave those in the comment section below. Let me know as well, guys. Are you going to be making the upgrades to these new Ultimate Legend items? Are you going to go with the base one, the standard 99 overall Ultimate Team? Or are you going to go with the boss item if you can afford it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.